Hi, my name is Don Gennetti from Project52ProSystem.com. And I wanted to talk a little bit about this class. I really believe in this class. And uh, I created it specifically for people like so many of you who want to be professional photographers, even if it's just a weekend warrior type thing, but to earn some income and to get some validation for your work. Back in the day, the way we did it was we would become photographers and then we'd go get a job assisting somebody. And of course, I did that. I did that in LA and I did it in New York a bit. And it was like trial by fire. You learned very much, very quickly working with the uh, photographers that were already doing it. I would say about 95% of the stuff you learned while you were assisting was never taught in school. As a matter of fact, I'm not a big fan of photo schools. Not sure they teach you the tools you need to go out and be a photographer. I think if you want to be an art photographer, you should learn to drive for Uber. But what we want to do in commercial photography is we want to provide images for clients. And that's what we focus on at Project52ProSystem.com. Creating photographs that move business. Whether it's people photography, lifestyle photography, food architecture, tabletop, product, so many things. Photography is still the language of advertising. And while things have changed a lot since I was in the business, some things haven't. We still need great images to sell great products. I know a little bit about both. I started getting I started getting clients back in the early 70s. I stayed with my regular job, which was a terrible job. Stayed with that for a while and built my business, moved to L.A., was in L.A. for about four years, came back to Phoenix for various reasons, and then uh, started shooting in New York and Chicago. I would go to New York for a month or so and then come back and then I'd go to Chicago. I had a friend in Chicago and I used his studio, so it was, wasn't like I was paying triple rents or anything. And that was that was a lot of fun. I had kids, and then it wasn't so much fun anymore. I had to make a decision. Do I stay in Phoenix? Or do I move to New York? Lifestyle won out over um, the, the Broadway lights, and I, I stayed here in Phoenix um, and did not move back to New York. But while I was here, I built a pretty good business, had a nice studio. We were working six days a week, asked my wife. Um and I got I got kind of tired of being the bank for ad agencies, so I started doing design myself. I started offering design and and some ad services myself out of this very same room that you see here. And within three years, it was a thirty five hundred square foot downtown building with seventeen employees, and we were the third largest ad agency in the valley in Arizona. And um, that was those were pretty heady days. So I've sat on both sides of the desk. I've been a photographer showing my book. I've been a art director slash creative director actually at the agency because I owned it, looking at books. And I know a lot about this business. I also know a lot about it has changed. And I stay up on that change a hundred percent every day I'm up on it. It's not like it was back in the day, but some things still are. Marketing. Everybody looks towards social media. Oh, I'm going to put up social media. Social media is not marketing. It's a part of marketing. Marketing is the same as it was before. Show pictures to everybody you can. Target those people and you'll find that there's work out there. You have to have a really good portfolio. You have to know how to build a job. You have to know how to do a job. You have to know how to complete a job. All of these things take skills and practice. It's hard to get practice when you never have an assignment. Enter Project 52. I created this for those photographers who can't uproot and move to New York and assist photographers for a year or two. It's one thing if you're 20. It's another thing if you're 42 and you got a mortgage. You know, it's tough. So what I've done with Project 52 is try to provide an environment where you get assignments you learn about the assignments, you learn to create those assignments, you learn to turn them in, produce them, make them work. And these assignments are based in real life experiences. A uh, food, uh, food shoot, a shot for a florist, creating an ad for a florist, creating 
materials for shoe stores, creating point of purchase displays, shooting the mayor, photographing landscapes that have to be used in corporate work. We touch on a little bit of everything. It's not a fashion class. In fact, we do no fashion. If you're looking for fashion photography, this ain't it. Fashion photography is a little bit different animal. Trust me. But if you're looking for gaining experience shooting products, liquor, food, tabletop, architecture, etc., this is the class. You get one assignment a week. The assignment is given to you just like a real assignment. There's examples of what the assignment is about. There's a brief that goes with it. We are covering new territory this year. I think it's absolutely imperative that photographers learn to do a few little graphic design things, like designing Instagram stories. Clients are clamoring for it. They want it done. Creating social media graphics with photography. They want it done. Motion. I can... I. Consider motion video without sound. Once we add sound, now we're making a movie, video, movie type thing. Sound people are very expensive. Sound people, you know, they have their own, they have their own classes. They can spend as much money on sound as photography. So if you add sound, that's a different thing. And as a photographer, you should be directing, not shooting. But anyway, we talk a lot about how to position yourself, how to bid, what rights are you, are you going to ask for? How are you going to get those rights approved? How to put in a bid that doesn't turn people off because it's too low or too high? And how to deal with clients with these assignments. It's 52 weeks long. It's a, it's a whole year. There's a meeting every week. We have two meetings for 2023. We have a meeting on Wednesday morning and we have a meeting on Saturday morning. So if you can't make Wednesday, you can make Saturday. If you can't, uh, you know, if there's an urgent, you know, kid soccer game or something that you've got to take Wednesday off, you can always come back Monday. I mean, when you can always come back Saturday. We have a class on Saturday morning, every Saturday morning. So it's a really fantastic class. There's nothing else like it on the internet. There are some great teachers on the internet. There are some great people out there are showing you how to light a tube of whatever this is, how to do that. But if you come to me, I'm going to teach you not only how to do it, but why you do it that way and how you can do it other ways to fit in with lots of different concepts. As commercial photographers, we're part artist and we're part technician. The artist part is hard. The technician part is hard. Putting them together is what Project 52 is all about. I hope you take a look at the website. It's down in the description below. And uh, I'm going to put a couple more of these out. I've got some Project 52 members that would like to come and talk. So Project 52 is enrolling right now. There's a link down below. Jump in. You will you'll obviously make your money back during the class because you're Everybody does. I mean, you're going to go and shoot for the flower store. They're going to want to buy pictures or buy you for an assignment. One of our students just borrowed some products from a boutique and uh, took the products back. She brought them for an assignment for Project 52, took them back, showed the lady the photographs, and the lady hired her for 10 more shoots. It's a good, a good budget. Not, not cheap. So uh, lots of fun stuff to do out there, folks. I hope you consider me and uh, consider my course. It's unique. There's no one else doing it. And I'll see you uh, next time I put a video up. Have a great day.